In this video, I review the possibility of using the newer Auto Dolly in combination with a camera slider to create a motorized camera slider. I've previously reviewed both the newer Auto Dolly and a newer slider. There are links to these videos above. So welcome back to the video darkroom and let's have a look at the possibility to make this combination work. Newer indicates that the auto dolly and a slider can be used in combination to create a motorized slider. I must say that this doesn't work with the newer slider that I previously reviewed. I thought that the slider did match the required specification. The slider tracks are 8cm apart measured middle to middle, but newer measure the separation between the inside edges of the rails and that must be at least 8 centimeters. The dolly is adjustable to match a slider, but it doesn't have enough adjustment to match this particular newer slider. Attempting to use it is frustrating. The dolly will not run straight on any setting or wheel adjustment that I can find. It turns out though that Newer sells a slightly larger camera slider carbon fibre dolly rail. And on this the dolly does follow the track. The rail has an 8cm gap and the dolly can be adjusted to match it. The dolly does follow the track but it still isn't very stable and it makes me nervous that the camera could just easily fall off. And even so, I still wouldn't recommend this combination for several reasons. Firstly, it isn't very stable and there is that risk of damaging your camera. And then, even when it is working, there isn't much advantage. You can get a constant speed movement, but there is no pan of the camera as you slide. The start and the stop are a little bit jerky. It doesn't start slowly and build up and slow down to a stop. A little practice will enable you to manually slide the camera just as well or possibly better given the jer jerky start and stop. I must say though that the two components are just fine when you use them independently. The dolly can create great clips rotating around a subject when used on a tabletop. Check out my review of that with examples of what you can achieve. And the slider can be used effectively to get a nice sliding parallax shot. Again, see my review of a newer slider here. Newer itself has a much better option, which is the motorized slider. It has a wider range of speeds going down to extremely slow, which could be useful for adding a little movement when filming interviews. It can also be used to create motion time lapses and has the ability to trigger the camera shutter in this mode. Most importantly, it has the ability to pan the camera in sync with the horizontal movement to keep the camera pointing at the subject. It is a little bit more expensive, but also a much more flexible and satisfactory solution. I'll be doing a review in an upcoming video, so if you want to catch that when it's posted, then subscribe and hit the bell. I've put as many links to the products in the description as I can. However, the motorized slider doesn't seem to be currently available on the Amazon US website. It is available on the UK website, and that is where I purchased it. These links may be useful, though, for you to browse the various options that are available. So if you've enjoyed this video and benefited from it, then please subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell and you'll be notified of the new videos as they're uploaded. I'm going to post a new video each week covering Premiere Pro, After Effects, Audition, Photoshop and Lightroom. So if you're interested in learning about these projects, then please subscribe to this channel and hit the bell and get a new video every week.